Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start recording here. Um, so, um, as usual, you know, I encourage people to join these live if you can, so you can ask questions. Um, I've got a couple things that I'm going to try and go through here today. Um, although mainly, I kind of wanted to talk just a little bit, maybe ten minutes on assignment two, uh, and then also kind of like I usually try to do on these help sessions, get us started on assignment three on recursion this week. So. Um, um, kind of a note also for anybody watching this after the fact. So um, we've got kind of the usual sort of we're going over two units uh, recursion on Monday and Tuesday and then searching, sorting and analysis of algorithms on Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, but we've also got our first test, uh, kind of a midterm exam. Uh, I think I opened that up on Thursday and give you till Saturday, although there's like a two hour time limit on that. So let me know if you have questions on that. But basically, uh, kind of as I mentioned on my announcement here, you know, we've only got five weeks for this course. So um, um, I do this maybe a little bit before the halfway point uh, for the test one, because actually our fifth week is actually uh, ends on Thursday, so we don't have all the way till Friday or Saturday of the fifth week. So you have to actually have to take the final exam uh, on the third week on Thursday while we're still also doing, you know, a unit on Monday, Tuesday and a unit on Wednesday, Thursday. So anyway, be aware of that. Um, so. Um, I wanted to mention something. Um, so, you know, uh, for all these units, there are canned lecture videos. Hopefully people are using those. These are supposed to go along with kind of the readings uh, that I mentioned here. So, you know, if it helps, uh, but mostly on the, the lecture videos, I go over code examples that I've either made or kind of pulled from the textbook or from other places. Um, so I don't think I've mentioned it yet in this class. Uh, the, all these code examples are available in another repository. Um, there's a link down here, probably, I don't know if I have it for every unit, there's also a link in the additional resources. So if you're interested, I mean, I encourage you to uh, get this code um, and uh, use it. Um, so, you know, as usual, you should be able to clone this repository, you have to clone it read only, so you, you, you won't be able to clone it um, using SSH, but you should be able to uh, do a clone of the lecture examples um, using the HTTPS uh, URL here. So, um, uh, oh, yeah, I see here. I got my dev box. I'm like, I forgot. Let me start up the my other browser that I normally use in order to do my dev box stuff in here. But um, let's just real quickly kind of show, you know, um, cloning the lecture repository. So same kind of, uh, procedure that you ought to be used to by now. So you just paste in, in this case, paste in the HTTPS um, URL for the lecture examples and just specify, you know, the normal place where you've been putting your repository. So I've been just putting it in my sync subdirectory here. Um, so if you clone that, you'll see uh, it has, you know, a bunch of files in here, the usual convention. So the, these units might not exactly match up with the uh, unit numbers uh, in the class. So you might have to look on those. So for example, you know, we are doing recursion here, which I'm calling unit three in this class. Uh, so on a, on a long semester, I think it usually comes up as unit four. Uh, but yeah, if, if you wanted to um, see that code and, and use it. You can you can bring this up. The the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, there are no unit tests with this one, um, but uh, Control Shift One to do a make clean should work. Oh, you probably do the configure step still as usual. So uh, after we configure, open up a terminal and do dot slash configure. Um, hopefully you're IntelliSense and. Uh, the project should be set up. So then we should be able to do a control shift one to do a make clean. And a control shift two will build everything. You'll so it, you see that it will build um, all these unit two, unit three, unit four um, example source code from the lecture videos out here. Uh, rebuild everything. 
So hopefully, you know, um, yeah, just try it. It looks like everything's building cleanly. It's not, nothing's crashing. So still building all these. But yeah, I mean, you know, in, pic in particular, I encourage you, you know, not to just watch the lecture videos, but actually try the code. So for example, um, um, if we go into the, the, the lecture examples on recursion, um, you know, we're calling this largest iterative value. I'll just put another output statement here just to show that you can modify. So if I modify the code, uh, put an output statement, see out statement here. Um, so now, you know, the, the way the normal make build system works, if you haven't figured it out, is whenever you do a control shift two, if you don't do a make clean, if you do a make all, it will only rebuild what's out of date. So since I just modified, you know, some code, I added another output here to the recursion uh, lecture code examples. If I just do a control shift two, it should only rebuild the, uh, the unit zero four um, uh, recursion here, uh, right? Oh, and, and yeah, the way to run these, uh, like I was saying, you know, there's no test. So if you do Control Shift three, um, um, yeah, it's gonna fail. So sanity. So you do have to actually run these executables by hand. So the way to do that, um, it builds all these executables into um, an output directory called bin, but you do have to run these by hand from a terminal. So if I want to run, so if I'm making changes and want to see the results of making changes to the lecture for uh, the unit for recursion uh, here. We have to open up a terminal. Um, so again, you know, all these executables are put into this bin directory so I can run any one of them. I do a dot slash bin, which is the directory where they live and then unit, you know, the, the, the name of the executable. So the name of this executable, uh, again, you can, if I do a build again, you know, if, if, if it's not clear, if, if I modify that, so, so usually the files called unit four dash something are going to, the executable will, will end up being uh, unit four dash one here, right? So that, that's the actual name of the executable there. So, um, um, so the general order of this, can you hear me? Yeah. So basically um, you make it clean first, Right. And then you build it. And then if we were doing an assignment, you would run the test. But if you're not doing assignment, if you're looking over the class examples, you just do the slash dot bin or the dot right. slash bin. Yeah, right. So yeah, if you want to run these, since we don't really have any hooks for tests or stuff, you do have to run them by hand. So it's going to be dot slash bin and then the name of one of those example, uh, lecture example programs here. So yeah, there, I just ran the 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 zero four that one. So we should see, uh, yeah, I mean, that little output statement that I had. So, so yeah, if you're making modifications, you should be able to see those modification modifications come out in the output here. So. Okay. All right. So anyway, hopefully people might find those useful, you know, so, you know, again, this is part of reading code, becoming better at programming. So reading code, but also, you know, do, doing it and using it. So hopefully, um, at least some people will find it valuable to actually compile these and maybe try different things out and stuff like that. Um, and that kind of leads me to kind of second thing. I also wanted to mention a little bit about using the debugger um, in here. So, um, I mean, I could use the debugger here, but let me um, jump to something else here. Um, so, I'll show my debugging example. I'm going to open up. I've got a, a, a um, an example solution for the second assignment. I wanted to talk maybe just briefly 10 minutes about, oops, about the, um, um, maybe the add function or a little bit about assignment two. Um, but, um, Uh, anyway, I mean, this is our assignment that you should have just that you just completed last uh, Thursday with the large add, adding the member functions, the large integer. But before I get to that, let me let me just mention try and keep it to five or ten minutes here. But using the debugger, so there are hooks in these projects for you to be able to use the debugger by default. Um, so so over here on the left hand side of Visual Studio Code, uh, this is the tab for uh, running debug sessions. Uh, there will be one uh, configuration. So if, if you, um, I, oh, I already added this on here. Let, let me let me go back and uh, show this here. So um, there is a debug configuration 
Um, but um, um, if you don't make any modifications, you'll have this. There'll only be one configuration. It'll probably just be called like GDB launch here. So by editing this uh, launch.json file, which you can get to with the add configuration, you can modify these things. Um, so yeah, when, when you run this, basically it runs uh, the, 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 when you tell it to launch a debug section, session, it's going to 